Hi, I'm Brent, your Crown Product Specialist, and I'm back here at the Crown Labs to talk to you today just about one of the key features that makes a product an effective rust inhibitor. We're going to talk about how well a product works as a protective barrier. Now, scientists have a test. They call it the ASTM B117, and they use this test to measure how effective a product works as a barrier. Now, I know that that particular test, it's a mouthful. If you want the technical details on it, you can click the link below. But you may have seen various videos online of people who've tried to simulate this test, and they've come up with very creative ways to do it. Generally, though, what they're doing is they're taking different pieces of metal and they're spraying different rust inhibitors on those pieces of metal, leaving them outside to face the elements, and then measuring how long that those particular rust inhibitors last on the metal. When scientists perform this test, though, they actually use what's called a salt spray cabinet machine. And here at the Crown Labs, we actually have one of those machines. So what we're going to do for you today is we're going to perform this test for you, and we're going to show you exactly how this machine works. So before we show you the salt spray cabinet, we're gonna take a look at our five samples. So here we have five identical pieces of steel that we're gonna apply five different products to, and we're gonna see how they hold up in the salt spray cabinet. Now, to make sure that we meet the specifications of the ASTM B117 test, you'll notice that we have applied a hardened wax to the edges of the metal. And what this does is it actually prevents any sort of corrosion that could form on the edges from bleeding onto the surface of the metal, and therefore it could potentially compromise the results. So let's apply those different products. So here we're gonna apply a very popular oil-based rust protection product. Now to illustrate how something can be a great coating, but not necessarily a good rust inhibitor, we're gonna apply peanut butter to one of these panels. And we're gonna show you a popular rust paint. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna apply the crown product. So here we have our prepared samples. And to walk you through each sample, just quickly, we've got our first panel completely unprotected. Our second panel, protected with a popular oil-based rust protection product. Our third panel, protected with peanut butter. Our fourth panel, protected with rust paint. And last but not least, we have the crown product. Now we're gonna take these samples, we're gonna put them in the salt spray cabinet chamber, and we're gonna perform that test, the ASTMB117. So come with me. Here's our salt spray cabinet. Now currently it is calibrated to meet the manufacturer's specifications to run or perform this particular test. Now to walk you through exactly what's going to happen, we're going to take our different samples, we're going to line it up here in the cabinet, and then this cylinder in the center, it actually pumps out a salty mist. And the goal of this is to measure or see how long each one of these samples lasts before they begin to corrode or corrosion begins to form. So let's get our samples and let's get this test started. So if we take a look inside, just to walk you through what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our various samples and we're gonna set them up here on this rack, lined up one by one. Now in the center of this salt spray cabinet, you can see this white cylinder. What this does is actually pumps out a salty mist into the air. And then the goal of this test is to measure, see how long these various samples are gonna last before they begin to corrode. Here our samples are loaded into the salt spray chamber. Uh, we've spaced them in such a way that they're an even distance from the actual salt spray cylinder in the center of the machine. Now we're going to fire this machine up and get this test started. It's been 72 hours since we put our samples into the salt spray chamber. So we're going to open it up. We're going to take a look at the results of our test. So we're back here in the Crown Labs and let's take a look at our samples. So let's look at each panel one by one. The first panel had no protection applied to it and as you can see, it's very corroded. The second panel, we applied a thin oil-based rust protection product. And although it's provided some protection, after 72 hours in that salt spray cabinet chamber, it's still quite corroded. In the third panel, we applied peanut butter. And you can see we've removed half of the peanut butter so you can see the bare metal, and it has held up quite well at preventing corrosion on that metal. Now you might be thinking at this point, why did we apply peanut butter to one of these panels? And it's to make this point very clear. Just because something is an effective coating doesn't mean that it's an effective rust protection product. Obviously, after seeing this test, you're not gonna take peanut butter and try to coat the underneath of your vehicle with it. 
Now we're gonna come back to that point because it's very important. If we take a look at this fourth panel, this is where we applied a rust paint. And if we were to remove that rust paint from the surface of the metal, you would see underneath that it has completely protected the surface of that metal from preventing any sort of corrosion. And last but not least, we're gonna take a look at this fifth panel where the crown rust protection has been applied. And as you can see, after over 72 hours in the salt spray cabinet chamber, there's absolutely no corrosion on that panel. Now, interestingly enough, is the crown product will last over 120 hours in the salt spray cabinet test before corrosion begins to form on that panel. But something you should know is the fact that crown is not a coating. The salt spray cabinet test, as well as many other YouTube videos you may have seen, are measuring the effectiveness of a coating. Now, why is that important to keep in mind? Well, a coating, like panel number four, for instance, that rust paint, would be an effective way at preventing corrosion on your vehicle if the entire surface of your vehicle was just one flat piece of metal. But the reality is, how much of your vehicle is actually flat? Uh, no, there's all sorts of nooks and crannies. There's hidden spot welds and seams, small electrical components, as well as the inside of door panels. These areas that you can't see are invisible to the naked eye. And for a, a rust protection product to be effective, it has to be thin enough to be able to creep into all of those areas of your vehicle and create that protective barrier. And that's exactly what the Crown product does. So I hope you appreciated this test. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you come up with any other creative ways that we can test the Crown product, by all means, leave it in the comments section below and we'll do our best. Thanks so much.